So, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, just a quick recap of what we did earlier uh, while uh, creating the connections. Uh, we already finished creating two connections. One was to MS Access and uh, the other was to SQL Server. And uh, both these uh, gave us the CNX files. We then published these connections to the repository. We published the CNX files to the repository and that gave us the CNS files, uh, which was uh, a shortcut to the secure connections on the repository. Uh, next, we'll take a look at uh, creating the data foundation and the business layer, and ultimately we'll export the business layer to get our UNX file. So going here to information designer, as I mentioned, we have these two CNX files here, the local connections. We exported them and got the uh, shortcut to the secure connections on the repository. We will now go ahead and create a new data foundation. Let's call it demo project one, data foundation. I'm just gonna call it data foundation one and gonna select multi-source enabled here click on next go to the same session as earlier it's already connected as you see uh, what this is doing is uh, using the shortcuts that's already there in the local project it's uh, fetching the middleware information from the server database middleware information and momentarily it will come up with the information which is MS Access and SQL Server. I'm gonna select both these and go forward, say next. In the next screen, what you would see is, uh, it will give us an option to select a color for the first connection. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be blue. We can change it to something else if we like, but we leave it as blue. As you see up here, it's explaining what it's, uh, what's the benefit of this color. It will help us differentiate the tables that come from each of the connections in the data foundation. Uh, we go forward and it will come up with SQL Server. I'm going to leave it as uh, whatever it, the color it is, orange or so. Click on finish here. And uh, once that's done, uh, we should have the data foundation ready for us to start doing our work on okay so uh, you see we have these two connections here oops uh, should not have clicked on it gonna actually okay since I've already clicked on it I'm gonna probably try and bring in the tables from there it's uh, fetching information from the SQL Server database at the moment okay uh, we want to go to this database called iPOS test And once it comes back with the list of tables, we will select a table called sales fact. So let's right click on this table. Okay, over here it doesn't seem to have the option of inserting the table, uh, which I did think so. I clicked on this by mistake. So I'm going to minimize this. Go into data foundation here. Here is where we'll insert the tables. Right click and say insert tables first I'm going to select access again how I reached here is I went to data foundation here and uh, click into this right hand space here in this right hand space I right clicked and said insert tables it came up with the two connections that are already available I am expanding the first connection that we have here, which is MS Access, and I will go ahead and uh, insert the tables once it comes up here. 
I'm going to select only one table, which is article lookup. I'm going to minimize this again, go to the next connection, which is the SQL Server connection. And as mentioned earlier from here, I'm going to select uh, a fact table. Again, it's a, it's a demo fact table with like three dummy rows. And uh, not necessarily a fact table in its true sense because it just has two columns, an ID and a cost. I'm going to minimize this and go to IPOS test. Uh, and once it comes up with the list, I'm going to go look for a table called sales fact. Uh, check on that and say finish. Okay, so we have both these tables now available in the data foundation. As you see, it's uh, showing up with uh, different colors here, uh, as we had selected earlier, blue and orange, one from each of the different connections. Let's go ahead and connect article ID to article ID. I'm gonna just go ahead and say, did I join here? Not sure whether to detect it because of the, you know, not so clean data that I have here, but let's anyway see what it comes up with. Okay. Uh, not detect the cardinality did it I don't know okay uh, anyways so what I'm gonna go is uh, go to the next part here click on save uh, what I one quick thing that I'm gonna try and do here is say show table values from the article lookup table You see it's got uh, quite a few rows here. I'm going to close that at the moment and then go say show table values from the sales fact table, which is from SQL Server, which uh, you'll see it'll come back with uh, three rows, uh, which is what I have inserted, you know, in the database. So uh, we saw table values from each of the different tables. So far, so good. Uh, we go to the next step, which is creating a business layer. So relational business layer. Next, resource name, demo project one, business layer. I'm going to call it BL1. Next, it's asking us to select the data foundation. We go ahead and select the only data foundation that's available within this project. Click on OK. I'm going to leave this checkbox on that says automatically create classes and objects for all connections. Finish. OK, once that's done, uh, you would actually see that it's created, uh, all, you know, the various objects here from both the tables. I'm not going to change anything and leave it that way. We go ahead and create a quick query to see the results. I am going to bring in uh, article ID and cost from SQL Server and uh, category and family name and family code from Access and I'm going to say OK. OK and then I mean you could change the name here if you want but again I'm going to Okay, let's just say query one and I'm going to say execute query. It's fetching the data. I would expect it to come back with three rows since it's an inner join and my SQL server has only three rows. And so here you have the result. Uh, data coming from SQL server is these first two columns and the rest of the columns are coming from Access. Uh, this uh, shows us how we could actually, you know, uh, create a universe based off of two different connections which are coming from I mean 
two different databases if required. And uh, that brings us so far to point number four. So create two connections, publish them, create a data foundation, create a business layer, which is the BLX file. Uh, now this business uh, BLX file, the business layer is available locally on your machine. Uh, assuming you want it available on the repository, what you would do is uh, go to the business layer, right click on it and say publish. And you would do publish to repository. And uh, once that publishes, uh, what you would have is your UNX file. and. Uh, your business community or end users or wh whoever wants to do uh, whatever with the universe create reports on the universe on the repository should be able to do so I'm not going to check the integrity here again the rest of this is actually uh, uh, pretty straightforward where you could select a folder where you want to publish the universe and uh, click on OK and uh, once you're done with that uh, you could log into InfoView, select the universe, and uh, create reports off of it. So uh, that concludes our demo here. I'm not necessarily going to show logging into InfoView and things like that, just to keep the demo as short as possible. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hope this is helpful. Uh, kind of a quick uh, ramp up to start creating our uh, universe on multi data surfaces if you wish to do so in nextlife 4.0 feel free to uh, leave me your comments if you think i've missed something or uh, there's some more information that i might be able to provide perhaps and uh, all the best once you start having the fun with it uh, thank you once again for watching and uh,